one of the things that I really enjoy is as the game moves forward, we're going to be getting more and more lore. And I love the fact that we're getting this really, really great divide between getting information inside the game, but also getting information from the developers themselves. Uh, earlier today, the CEO of Arrowhead dropped the Super Earth world map, and I've got it. Uh, I've got it pulled up here, and it's overlaid over an actual world map. And we're just gonna be just gonna be taking like a quick glance to see what's there and what's not there. Now, of course, uh, these uh, orange, orange, I'm blind. These yellow and black streaks are for wasteland zones uh, from the last Great War. The last Great War is the war that occurred in Helldivers One, and then the red area are restricted zones for the last rainforests on the planet. Now, let's start over at Mega City One. Uh, as you can see, Mega City One's down here in this corner. It seems as though Mega City 1 is located in Malaysia, which is interesting in and of itself. And if you pay close attention to the borders, it seems as though Mega City 1 is also India, down to Australia, all of the outlying islands, and then all the way up to Japan. And then Mega City 2 is China. So there's a high probability Mega City 2 is Hong Kong, and it takes a chunk of everything there we're talking about mega city 2 controlling china uh kazakhstan uzbekistan mongolia and what's left of the bits of russia that didn't get absolutely nuked including uh north korea and south korea now moving over to sector 3 sector 3 is the only one that has a mega city with an actual name because it's the capital of the entire planet it's prosperity city and Prosperity City is located in Norway. Is it Norway? It might not be Norway. It might be Latvia. Hold on. No, 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 no. Is it Norway? Is it Sweden? It's located on the coast right there. I want to say that is... That seems to be Sweden. I might be wrong. Or it might be Latvia. It's one of the two. But... Prosperity City is located in uh, in Europe. One of the more interesting things, however, is the fact that the UK and Ireland are gone. If you see right here from the last Great War Wasteland Zones, all of those black streaks perfectly overlay the United Kingdom and Ireland. So I'm sorry for my UK, I'm sorry for my UK followers, but in uh, in in the history of Super Earth, you guys went down swinging and you no longer exist. Now, um, Mega City Four is located in what seems to be Germany. But I could be wrong. No, it, it's definitely Germany. It's it's overlaid it's overlaid perfectly in Germany. Uh, and that seems to control everything from Ukraine. If you look closely at Ukraine and Belarus, you'll see that there's a giant chunk that's just gone from both of those countries uh turned into nuclear wastelands. Uh that's super interesting. They also encompass Spain, They've got Turkey in there. They've got Romania. So it seems as though Mega City 4, Sector 4, is essentially uh, what's left of Europe. What's left of the European bloc is Mega City 4 and Sector 4. Uh, moving on to Mega City, Mega City 5, it seems as though Mega City 5 is... We've got India, Afghanistan, Iran, Saudi Arabia, Yemen. Uh, wow. Egypt, Libya, Chad, Sudan, Ethiopia, so Western, Central, and Southern Africa, along with the Middle East and the Southern Peninsula for Asia being India. And of course, they also have uh, one of the last rainforests, which is located in the Democratic Republic of the Congo going all the way out to the Western Sea of the Congo. Now, jumping over from Sector 5 over to... Actually, I just realized something. Sector 4 is super interesting because not only is it the entirety of what's left of the UK block, but Sector 4 is also uh, the entire Western coast of Africa. Algeria, Niger, um, what is that? Senegal, Guyana, Ghana, Liberia, Nigeria, Benin... Like all those countries, Morocco, all those all those countries are a part of the UK block of Sector Four. I wonder what the reason for that is, especially since Mega City Five is located in Egypt. 
Um, it's super interesting that the entire African Middle Eastern bloc didn't end up under Mega City 5, and they kind of split that and gave it to Mega City 4. It could be that Mega City 4 might rely on the land of the Western African continent to basically feed itself. That could be the case. I don't know. Unless we, until we get more lore. Uh, moving out to North and South America, we've got Mega City 6 located in South America. Particularly, it is located in Uruguay, which is super... In Actually, no, it might be located in Argentina. It looks like it's on the border of both of those countries. Um, and, of course, towards the north, you've got the last rainforest being the Amazon. Uh, one of the more interesting things is the fact that Sector 6 covers the entirety of South America the entirety of central america including mexico a giant texas looks like half of california florida uh basically the entire southern states of the united states all belong to mega city six uh mega city seven however basically extends all the way north into canada there are giant swaths of canada and alaska that are just simply gone looks as though that there may have been some type of war that essentially destroyed the equator if you're looking at this from the top down then you can say that the entire northern hemisphere was basically bombarded uh when the last great war began because you're looking at the entirety of northern russia here you're looking at the entire north of greenland you're looking at uh, the vast majority in the entire north of Alaska that's completely gone. A big chunk leaning down into Canada. But Mega City 7 seems to be... That dot is big. That dot could be anything. That dot could be anything from New York City all the way up to Boston. Uh, it seems to be in that general area. And America just looks... America's just fractured. America is gone. Uh, this is super interesting to me because I know that when the next game sent well not the next game when the next update comes out we're going to be moving towards having battles and wars on super earth so it's going to be interesting to see exactly how this map is going to change by the end of uh helldivers 2 because we definitely know that the illuminates maybe not the terminids probably the automatons maybe a fourth race uh once they get into this war it's going to be on our own doorstep, which means that this map might change and it may be a whole lot less habitable land for the denizens of Super Earth to essentially live on. But I like weird, geeky shit like this. Um, I like the alternative history in video games. So this was really, really cool for them to come out with and, in all honesty, share. Uh, especially since we know that, like I said before, we're going to be getting content down the line that is going to be leaning towards... Uh, a war that is going to be happening on our doorsteps on Super Earth. But let me know what you think about um, them sharing the map, about the direction that the game might be going in in regards to having a battle. Where would you like to drop down if we were to fight on Super Earth? Would you like to drop down in Prosperity City, in one of the mega cities, maybe land in one of the wasteland restricted zones? One of the things I didn't even mention is up here towards the north, you've got the... Uh, the Emergency Seed Vault, uh, which is located in Norway. Um, that's super interesting. What what does that entail? What's in there? Is it a, a location where they uh, store plants for the event that the areas that are currently uninhabitable become inhabitable again? They're able to uh, bring life to those areas again? We'll see. Uh, comment below. Let me know. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.